welcome to another tutorial now for this lesson we'll be looking at some additional questions now this first question requires us to write an algorithm that will read the value of an integer and print the message pass otherwise negative based on the value that it receive so remember as usual you have to have the star symbol to indicate that you begin the program followed by prompting the user to enter the number or the value of the number. Then you accept the number from the user. And for this question, we will need to introduce the decision symbol again, since there will be a branching point for printing the positive message or the negative message based on the value that will be entered. So here we have to make a comparison in this, in this decision symbol. So we are going to say if number is greater than zero, then you'll have a positive message there, right? However, if the number is less than zero, then we'll be displaying negative. And finally, the program will be terminated. So let us look at another question. Now this question requires us to read two test scores and find the average of the score. The algorithm should print the average if it is greater than 60%. Now let us look at the solution. So remember, the first thing that we need to have is a start symbol, followed by prompting the user to enter the necessary data. Now we'll be prompting the user to enter the two test scores and we will introduce two variables that will represent the scores which is score one and score two so remember before finding the average we first need to find the total of the scores so therefore we have sum equal to score one plus score two now to find the average all we would need to do is to divide the sum by two which represent the two test scores, right? So we're working with only two variables or two numbers there. Now we need to make a comparison to print desirable results. So if average is greater than 60%, it will only print the average. However, if the average is less than 60%, it will not print anything. The program will terminate there. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share, subscribe and comment and stay tuned for another tutorial. Thank you.